Manager at St. Hill Crane Vineyards, Dylan Soat. Hey, Dylan. Hey, Bart. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Good, good. I feel like we've been doing this for a while now. Yeah, we have? How long I, have you been? I, th I think it's been at least a year. Probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How, how long have you been at uh, Sand Hill Crane? Um, I'm coming up on two years now. Oh, wow. Yeah. So Dylan's a familiar face to a lot of people that uh, dine out and go out for drinks throughout the town. You've been in uh, <laughs> hospitality pretty much your whole uh, career, right? Yeah, I'm, uh, I think I'm hitting close to eight years now. Mm -hmm. I started um, downtown. I kind of hopped around a little bit. I've done everything from uh, breweries to fine dining to even uh, working in some diners. Well, yeah. all great experience for what you're doing now at uh, Sand Hill Crane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's uh, what's January like at the winery? So January we slow down a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, we kind of embrace it. Uh, we go down to winter hours, so we're only open Thursdays through Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, Thursday is 2 to 7. Friday and Saturday are noon to 7, unless mm -hmm. we're having a late night Friday. We do that once a month. And then Sunday is noon to 5. We kind of you know, facilitate something for people to do after church or just if they're looking for some place to hang out with family. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. thanks, thanks for coming in on your day off. Hey, I appreciate <laughs> <laughs> All right, so today we're going to uh, preview some of the things that are uh, coming up and talk mm -hmm. about some of the, the products that you have. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, so let's see, we've got, um, this week already you've got a special event. Yeah, so this week we have, uh, tomorrow we have uh, open interviews. We're looking for uh, cafe staff and management. We're looking for um, bartending associates. Mm -hmm. uh, then Friday we have our first singles night. I thought it would be, you know, something kind of fun to do with Valentine's Day coming up. Ah. Uh, it'll be our first time doing it, so we're kind of... Um, just gonna play some good music, have some nice little like mingling activities, it's gonna be really relaxed, it's kind of a come as you are type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then Saturday, we are releasing four red wines. Red wines? Mm hmm. It's that time of year, people are drinking reds now. Mm hmm. Uh, so we're bringing back Black Cat, uh, which was originally just kind of. Holly playing around, like mm -hmm. doing an experiment, but it was so popular that we decided we had to bring it back. Um, yep, right there, you'll see it on the right. The label art is actually done by our friend uh, Lindsay, who lives across the street. That's a Cab Merlot blend, mm -hmm. big, bold, dry. Um, we have a Syrah coming back. Uh, if you're familiar with the Australian varietals, they call them Shiraz. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's the it's the same grape. Uh, we have our 840 Bourbon Barrel Reserve, that is a fortified port wine. Um, those originate in Portugal. Mm -hmm. uh, we age ours in bourbon barrels for a little while. They're closer to 18% alcohol. They have a higher sugar content, so it's kind of more in aperitif after dinner type of thing, but mm -hmm. it's really nice these these cold winters, really good S belly warmer. Small sips. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> half glasses. <Yeah. laughs> uh, and then finally we have our um, estate grown Chamberson aged in bourbon barrels, and that one is really limited release. We only did maybe 25 cases of it, mm. um, but it's really, really beautiful red wine. Cool. Mm -hmm. Nice work by Lindsay Dahl. Yeah. Yeah, think about, uh, we need a black cat for the label. Uh, it's hard to paint or draw a black cat. Uh-huh, and her take on it is so vibrant and mm -hmm. colorful, very appropriate for the wine that's in the bottle. Yeah. Nice job. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, it's a hangout for artists and those who love art, and you all throughout the year have artists, uh, performance artists, uh, painters, uh, photographers, all, yeah. all coming in and showing off their stuff, and we've got a featured artist uh, coming up in uh, another week or so. Yeah, we love um, working with and supporting our local community. We do a different feature artist every month. Um, so for February, we're doing um, an art exhibit for Cheryl Ambergie, mm -hmm. a, a close personal friend of mine. Um, and we'll have live music from Kelly Heath from 1 to 4. Um, Cheryl's art is very... Uh, 
very loving, very caring. Mm -hmm. uh, so we thought it would be uh, nice and appropriate for February. Yeah, I've seen a lot mm -hmm. of her work. She's great. And there's a piece of it right there. Yeah, yeah. And music with Kelly Heath. Yep. Nice. You guys also partner with um, Center Stage Jackson for, I think, a couple of different things. Yeah, um, we do a couple of different events uh, with them throughout the year. Uh, we have two weekends of um, their performances. So it'll be uh, the 10th through the 12th and the 17th through the 19th. Those will be kind of after hours events. Mm -hmm. And you can get tickets for those uh, on Center Stage Jackson's website. So it's called Made in Michigan, Winery Cabaret. Hmm. Does that mm -hmm. mean the, uh, the music uh, is, is Michigan music? Um, I'm assuming so. I actually haven't seen the performance right now, hmm. so it'll kind of be of a little bit of a surprise for me as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last year. They sell out too, don't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's full house all the time. Uh, late night... Uh, Vic McDermott, Vic and uh, Jamie. Mm -hmm. uh, late Night Friday will be the 24th. Uh, we do one Late Night Friday every month during the winter. Yeah, we'll be having Marcus Shelton. Mm -hmm. um, very talented. He has kind of more like opera background. So I expect to kind of hear more ballads, mm -hmm. uh, more you know, vocal centered music. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Should be fun. Well, I, th I think the uh, singles night, um, I think that's a great idea. You know, I haven't heard of anyone having a singles night. It's been many, many years. It used to be popular. Like, yeah, uh huh. It used yeah. to be a, a pretty popular thing. It kind of started as a joke. Oh, really? <laughs> well, before the, I mean, with the internet, the people, it's amazing how many people meet online um, yeah. and not IRL. <laughs> right? So if you want to... I maybe... see you're, you're staying tech savvy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a great idea. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. And it's a thing you can go to by yourself. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I said, come as you are. Or get the guys or the girls together and yeah. come out. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And then you have, what is this? This, this is Serenade. Little... This is our wine of the month. Oh. Uh, for February, it's a sweeter version of... Uh, Vignole, if you're a big fan of like ruby red grapefruit, um, it's got that really nice like kind of tart uh, like kind of mm -hmm. thing going on. It's, it's really wonderful stuff. Nice. One of my personal favorites, yeah. And you've got uh, a sangria of the month? Yep, sangria will be featuring um, Blushing Crane, which is a semi-sweet rosé. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do like a strawberry, or sorry, a raspberry puree, um, maybe something a little bit herbaceous. Uh, we do a different sangria every month, mm -hmm. and I used to do like really seasonal things, but lately I've just kind of been focusing on brighter, more like fruit-driven, citrusy ones, because mm -hmm. uh, you know we all kind of need winter pick me up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Something something <laughs> nice and and fruity. And then uh, one last thing: uh, cafe specials, food specials. Yeah, so to pair with the red wines that we're releasing this weekend, we're doing um, a really hearty, great beef chili. Last time we made it, I sold out in a day. So, so I'm making more of it this time. <laughs> um, and a ham and Swiss on Detroit sourdough with caramelized onions. Those uh, onions actually have a little bit of the 840 port in it, mm -hmm. so it like, you know, works with that ham and, ham and Swiss really well. Sounds yeah. great. Yeah, it should be a good one. All right. It looks like a f fun, uh, fun month of uh, events and, mm -hmm. and drinks coming up. Yeah. Great to see you. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, always good seeing you. As well, the wine bar manager at Sand Hill Crane Vineyards, Dylan Soto. Uh, lots more to come on 